Now we're going to talk much more about what's happening in India and across the developing world. Joining me from New York City is Peter Cardillo, Chief Marketing Strategist for Rockwell Global Capital. Peter, good to see you again. Um, we're going to get to Syria here, but let me start with the currencies around the country. Some folks are saying it's having an impact on the foreign exchange rates in some of the, the weaker countries where the economy might not be strong enough to withstand uh, another shock to the global economy. Yeah, there's no question about that. You know, the real pro fear here is the price of oil. And as you know, the price of oil has gone up. Uh, obviously, it's carrying a, uh, a uh, sort of a uh, geopolitical premium and uh, certainly not based on true fundamentals. But nevertheless, that's having a uh, psychological effect on the emerging markets. And of course, you know, if um, you see what's happening over in India, uh, obviously, with their currency um, hitting uh, this week uh, an all-time record low, uh, the situation is quite serious. Peter, for our viewers around the world, they're obviously watching what's happening in Asia and the U.S. And, uh, and not just developing countries. Explain to our viewers why investors care about what happens in Syria. Well, you know, it's a, it's, it's, it's a problem, a potential problem that uh, uh, could limit uh, um, oil, the traffic of, uh, of crude oil, and that means higher prices. And uh, we all know that when uh, oil prices uh, move higher, uh, it has a dampening effect on economic activities. Now, combine that with the fact that, uh, um, that many of the emerging markets have already suffered uh, uh, weaker economic growth due to the slowdown uh, in China uh, and, of course, the modest growth here in the States and, uh, uh, and the European recession, uh, that would mean uh, a return of, of, uh, uh, of a possible um, negative econ economic growth uh, uh, in the global economy. There's, there's two things I want to ask. Well, I'll, I'll ask you both questions very quickly. There's that pipeline that goes from Iraq through Syria and out to the sea, and then there's also the shipping lanes as well. How worried are you uh, about a disruption there? Well, I, 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 you know, I, I think that the, that right now is far-fetched. But obviously, a, um, uh, any escalation of uh, uh, of a conflict there would uh, would threaten that. Now, um, I don't think we're going to uh, arrive at that. But of course, you know, that that's the fear factor. And uh, when you have uh, a fear factor that escalates, you have speculation that moves up. So uh, that means we could see uh, high oil prices in the short term. Is it possible that if there's a standoff of some sort in the Middle East that that might, and I know this is speculating, but might the Fed take that into consideration if there's a destabilization or a potential for destabilization, might they put off this, this tapering? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, and I think that uh, to begin with, that the uh, uh, while the economic numbers in the state have improved, uh, certainly, uh, you know, tapering is uh, uh, going to happen. But I, I, I never thought that it would happen as early as September. I think September is certainly off the table, uh, perhaps at the end of the year. But if we do wind up in some sort of a uh, Middle Eastern uh, conflict here uh, that would have negative uh, uh, economic consequences, uh, you can rest assured that uh, uh, the Federal Reserve will not uh, begin to taper off their uh, bond buying program. Peter, the flip side of that is that if the Fed remains on track for the tapering process, and ever since the financial crisis from four or five years ago, there's been this big push of capital to the emerging markets because of the carry trade. If they were to begin this, this tapering, reducing 85 billion to say 75 or 65, how big of a concern is that to the emerging markets, or is that already priced in? Well, I, I think there's a certain amount that's already priced in, and you know, um, it, it, it depends on uh, how how the Fed begins to taper off. You know, the amounts that they're going to do now. Just last week, uh, Fed Williams did indicate that uh, uh, they would probably be in small increments. So I think you know. Peter Cardillo, the tapering, uh, Peter Cardillo, I apologize, we're out of time, but it is good to have you on the show, and thank you for your insights joining us live from the NASDAQ market site, as you can see there behind him, live from New York. Now, coming up.